Today in Art Pro, let's try making videos with Runways Gen 2, creating spectacular animations from images. As of today, Runway is considered the best AI video generator, surpassing even the famous Pika Labs. Runway has recently introduced a powerful feature called In Painting in Videos, allowing us to select specific elements for individual animation. It has been more challenging to generate decent videos with AI than images, but we are now seeing spectacular results, hinting at a revolutionary 2024 in AI in the audio-visual field. Finally, after the tutorial, using the same image, we will conduct a comparison between Runway's Gen 2 and Pika Labs to determine which one animates videos better. Let's take a look. But before that, if you're new to the channel and are interested in visual arts and new technologies, I recommend subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated on all our content. Firstly, let's register on the Runway website. It's pretty straightforward. You can access it through your email, and this is the home page. Some of its most popular tools are visible here, but in this video, we'll focus on the main tool for generating videos. We can start by providing a reference image or text. Let's use an image. If it's your first time, it will welcome you and provide basic instructions for using Gen 2, which I'll explain quickly in this tutorial. It informs us that one second equals five credits and starts us with 525 credits, equivalent to 105 seconds. Now, let's uh, drag the image we want to transform into a video. I'll use an AI-generated image. You can see the image and video screen here. We can also input terms for animation or both, provide a reference image and describe how you want it animated. Below, there are various settings, such as the amount of movement. Next, we have this function recently incorporated by Runway for controlling camera movement. We can determine both the direction of the movement and the amount, slightly to the left, even more to the right, or up and down. Here, we get a preview from the starting point to the destination. Then, we have the panoramic control to rotate horizontally and vertically. We can rotate clockwise or counterclockwise. And finally, zoom in or out, moving closer or farther away. And the last tool, also very interesting that they have just incorporated, is this movement brush for in-painting. As indicated, it allows us to have specific control over a particular area. For example, let's mark this area of the sun here. and let's increase the proximity and vary the vertical axis a bit as well. Click on Save, and here we'll describe the image and the action. For example, Great Sun Exploding. Click here to generate the video, which would be four seconds. It indicates both the seconds and the remaining credits. It starts transforming, and once it's ready, we can see it here. It has respected the static statue and animated the sun expanding and exploding spectacularly. Additionally, in the rest of the image, we can see that it's not a strict mask. The lighting realistically affects the rest of the image, as we can see reflections on the face. Totally spectacular. Here, we could evaluate the result. I'll give it five stars and try marking a larger area. To speed up, we can increase the brush size. And to avoid it looking too static in the sky, let's add movement to the clouds. Click again on Generate, and below, we can see that it has started generating this new video. Here on the left, we can see a history of our animations. Now we can see the clouds in motion and expanding and also the star, although a bit less spectacular. If we click on Extend here, from the last frame, it will animate it to continue the action. We would have four more seconds, and the corresponding credits would be charged. Here is the video with the initial four seconds plus the added four. 
In total, eight. Perhaps the additions for the star in this image are not as spectacular as the original version, but the clouds, celestial bodies, and particles around are still flowing well. Let's try another image with camera rotation. I have a generated underwater landscape here. I'll control the camera movement, asking for maximum panorama change and a slight counterclockwise rotation. Save and describe it as an underwater landscape with moving fish. Click on Generate. And this is also quite spectacular. We can see a distortion in these rocks, the panning, and a slight rotation to the left. The waves on the water surface are in motion, affecting the scene's lighting, and even subtle details like auras, here or here are in motion, likewise, these little fish. If we want to download them, simply click on this button. Now let's see how it responds to an abstract image. I loaded this and described it as an abstract waving image. Here we have a result a bit less dynamic than expected, but we can control the movement overall. Let's increase it and add dynamic to the description. Here's the movement to the left and a slight pan. Let's see how it goes. And here we can see that it's much smoother, although it breaks down the forms more. Abstract, obviously, has a much more complicated control, but let's see how it works with other examples. For example, with waves, it worked a bit better. I'll try again with the movement brush to animate only the alien. Here I put a walking alien. And this is the result, which is not bad, perhaps a bit slow, and it left a foot behind. But well, these are the first steps, pun intended, of AI video generation at a decent level. In this regard, it competes, as I mentioned, with Pika Labs, which is also making Tremengoose advances. Now I'll make a comparison with Pika Labs. In Pika, I used this image to animate it, and this was the result. And this is what happened with Runway. The movement of the person seems more dynamic, but in this case, the hair is stranger. It seems to have interpreted it as smoke or something like that. In any case, it's a matter of trying. Sometimes it doesn't always work the first time, but if we have a free option like Pika Labs and a paid one like Gen 2, maybe, while things don't improve, we can use the free program. At least while it is free, because Pika Labs has just launched its own website, what we have seen so far on Discord was the beta version, and they probably won't take too long to make it paid. Well, that's all for today. If you liked the video, you can leave a like, a comment below, and we'll see you with more content in the next video.